Greetings Commanders, I'm Commander Gibson and today I'm here to talk about the Echo Talkative AI. Now this is a voice recognition program to use in games like Elite Dangerous or on any game really as long as you've got a borderless full screen window and that's what the program requires, borderless full screen. Alright, so if you want to get this program, it's still in evaluation right now. Uh, so you can download an evaluation version. They're going to be releasing the full version here soon. And to get it, you can go to talkativeai.net and download it. All you have to do is uh, register and you'll get a key. And uh, you can provide them some feedback, let them know what you think. And as you can see here, they've partnered with uh, Radio Sidewinder, Lave Radio, Hut Normal Radio. Uh, so you're going to be able to get uh, these radio streams in-game on a GUI on the screen, which is pretty cool, and we're going to check that out. So here's what the program looks like. And uh, as you can see here, let me just minimize that window there, a little bit less distracting. Uh, I've made an Elite Dangerous profile. And in Settings, an Elite Dangerous profile in the Settings. Now this is where you can set up uh, whatever commands you want. Here I've, you can see I've set up a few of them here to work in game. And I'm just going to go over a couple more settings here first. Uh, the GUI. Now the GUI you're going to see in game and I chose red because I think it looks nice with the Python. That's what I'm going to be using. And it uses text to speech as well. So when it starts up it's going to give us a little spiel and you can change it to whatever you want. And As you can see here I put in my name though I had to spell it atrociously to get it to uh, pronounce it correctly. So who knows, maybe that's how I really should spell it. Oof. And you can see here recognizes English, so it looks like English is the only language right now. And you can also choose what voice you wanted to use. You can use Zira, which is the female voice, and David, which is the male voice. I chose Zira because I like the female voice better. And here you can set the volume of the speech and how fast you want it to talk. So I've got it just right there in the center. All right, so let's go back to voice commands here. And these are the ones I've set up here. Now you can do simple commands, you can do pretty interesting commands. You've got tons of options. Okay, so let's start with like a simple command like landing gear. Uh, let me show you what I did here, edit command. So you first, well you don't have to do it first, but you can put in uh, what you want the spoken command to be. For me, I just put landing gear. And then you go to whatever action you want to select. Since this is a very simple one, I just do key input. And then press a key L. Uh, and I have mapped L to landing gear in my controls in Elite Dangerous. And then you just hit OK and then that's a very simple one very easy to do. Then you can do a little bit more complex one like I've got one called prepare to launch and what this one does is got a couple different commands so when I say prepare to launch it's going to select down down then enter and that's going to uh, launch the ship when I'm inside of a space station and uh, I think the longest one I've done yet is request docking show you that one real quick all right, so this opens up the side panel and then moves over, selects the station, goes down, selects request docking, and then it returns back to the first panel and then closes. So it's kind of a long string of commands, but it works. So you can see it's extremely flexible. Now another one they have, uh, they've programmed some stuff, especially for Elite Dangerous, uh, and that's you know, something like, let's see where to go here. Okay, radio. So if I click on open radio here, it has a predefined command. So when you go to predefined, you can go to Elite Dangerous, and you can see it's got a couple things here that's already programmed inside of it, like a Galnet. It can open and read stories to you. Uh, radio, of course, you can change channels and uh, the options are really just next channel, previous channel, so I didn't bother to map any of that. Now if you go to general, it can do some other commands as well. It can open up a clock, set an alarm, uh, play audio files, uh, so it's got a lot of stuff that you can do right on screen that's pretty cool. 
All right, and there's a lot more complicated things you can do as well. For example, you can create variables and conditions. Now, I'm not too savvy on how to do all of this, so hopefully they're going to come out with a tutorial, but you can definitely you know, uh, mess around in here and figure out uh, some more complicated commands. The most complicated ones I did was uh, put multiple key inputs. So those who are more experienced can probably mess around with some of that. But there's also player media as well. So you can uh, either play a sound or use their audio player or video player. And you can select like a, if you've got a specific set of songs that you want to play, you can say select a random file from the following directory and then click on like a folder that you create that's got your music files in it or something like that. So you can kind of make your own kind of radio station uh, just with the music that you want. And this can also work if you want to have like a voice pack or have some other kind of recorded audio that you want to use. Uh, you can do that as well. Oh uh, man, I don't remember where I saw it now. But you can play an audio file along with a key input. Let's see if I remember it was display dialog. Here we go. Then you can uh, have it say something and then either an audio file or a text to speak. So you can put in whatever you want, like Gypsum is the coolest dude. And then it'll say that. And you can do uh, strings of audio, all kinds of crazy stuff. All right, so that's just a quick overview of the program. So now let's test it out in game with Elite Dangerous. All right, so now we're in game. We're in my trusty Python Daggerfall at Crick City. And now it's time to check out how it looks in game. As you can see, we've got here some text at the top of the screen. So let's give it a shot. Activate visor. Talkative Industries. Loading artificial intelligence entity. Initializing HUD. Welcome Commander Gibson. System is now online. Echo at your service. Alright, so pretty slick startup there. As you can see those two gray bands there on the sides and it says listening on the bottom right. That is the basics of the HUD, so it kind of fits in like this would be going across your helmet visor or something like that. Alright, so let's get out into space and give it a shot. Now I'm not going to be touching any controls here. Prepare to launch. Lights. Ah, all pretty simple. Alright, now, <laughs> now i got to put the hands on the controls because this thing isn't going to fly for me. Though it does have some pretty handy little tools here that we're going to uh, go over in-game that I mentioned previously when we were just looking at the program and the product's website. Right, now taking off. Landing gear. Alright, so it looks like we are ready to get out of here. Now I did not map boost. Because that's just a little too personal for me. I don't think I want to accidentally say something close to boost and get myself into trouble. So that one is definitely not mapped. But we do have some that are mapped. System map. So we can just check out uh, what's going on in 19 Phi 2 SETI. Yep, and this is home. This is my home system. I like it. And we can also open up the other one galaxy map yeah pretty handy now I've got all this stuff on my HOTA so I'm not probably gonna take a whole lot of advantage of these kinds of things but if you're just using a controller or something like that or if you're using VR and can't look at your keyboard I can see this coming in pretty handy <laughs> alright let's try something else open radio Ah, you can see there on the top left. Play some nice music for us here. Next channel. Next channel. Next channel. Next channel. Ah, Hutton. 
Oh my goodness, yeah, we don't need any copyright strikes there, so we've got to turn that off. And uh, we can also use Galnet as well. What's on the news? Alright, so you can see Galnet started there on the bottom left. Galactic and, News, yep, and Weekly Expansion well. Report. This report presents the latest data on expansion among the galaxy's the minor one. factions. Power Play, Weekly Report. Read the next one. The Power Play. Freelance report, oh, keeping an eye on naval expansion. On the popular independent talk show Affairs of State, political commentator Walter Astoria defended the recent construction of a new alliance outpost while expressing concern about federal and imperial naval expansion. Yeah, it's not too bad, huh? It sounds Who cares pretty if the good? new alliance outpost is a listening post? Sound bad. The Federation and Empire are building capital ships, That's enough and they news feel for now. threatened by an outpost. And you can set up to whatever commands you want, so uh, you can set it up to be like Abracadabra, and it'll open Galnet, you know, uh, whatever you want, really. That's that's something I like about this. And it seems to do a really good job uh, you know, picking up on what you're saying as well, so the voice recognition is actually pretty good. Alright, looks like I traveled a little bit too far to the station here, so I'm going to get back there lickety-split so we can do some landing. Request docking. Docking request granted. Alright, very good. So now we can head on inside here. Lights. I don't want to blind anybody. Landing gear. Landing gear. Fly response. There we go. So I think if you say things too quickly with something that it doesn't recognize, and then something that you do that it does recognize, it doesn't recognize it because you said it too soon. So it looks like you have to give yourself a breather there. Alright, so that's pretty much how it works in game. It's a pretty good uh, look at it, I think. And just for fun, let's try a different game besides Elite Dangerous, and we'll see how it looks on that. Alright, so here we are in uh, Fallout 4. Where my power armor? Let's give this shit. Let's give this a shot. Activate visor. Talkative Industries. <laughs> Loading artificial intelligence entity. Hmm. Initializing HUD. Welcome, Commander Gibson. System is now online. Echo at your service. Oh, I mean, it's not bad, right? It's pretty unobtrusive. Let's see if the other stuff works. Open radio. I guess that I don't know why that wouldn't work. Yeah, it seems to work fine. Close radio. Now for the weird part. Let's see if Galnet works. What's on the news? This is it's loading. Galactic right. News <laughs> Weekly <laughs> Expansion <laughs> Report. So it must this be pulling it presents from the latest data uh, the on expansion website. among the galaxy's minor the factions. Here are the latest so factions really to have expanded game. into new systems. That's the no for now. Partnership. All right, so it looks like you can use it for games like Fallout 4 as well. I guess you could do voice activation for your Pit Boy or something like that. But I mean, like they say on their website, this is going to work on any game as long as you've got the borderless full screen. So, man, go nuts, everybody. Just do voice activation for all the games. Alright, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for now. This has been Echo Talkative AI. And again, head over to talkativeai.net and uh, download an evaluation version. Just register with their site. And please give them some, some feedback. I'm sure they would appreciate it. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the black. Thanks for watching. And let me know what you thought in the comments. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to see all of my latest videos.